Hello and welcome to OverTimesOfIndia.com. I am Akash Das Gupta. All right, now just two matches left to play in IPL 2023, and I'm going to be talking about the second last match of the season, Qualifier 2. One match before the Summit Clash of the Grand Finale. Now this match, Qualifier 2 of this season, will feature the Gujarat Titans and the Mumbai Indians. It will be played in Ahmedabad, which is the home ground, of course, for the Titans, on Friday, the 26th of May, 7:30 p.m. IST start as usual. As far as the weather in Ahmedabad is concerned for this match. Uh, it's going to be mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, about 29 degrees Celsius in the evening, and absolutely no rain predicted uh, whatsoever. So that's really good news. Now, if you look at these two teams, they've had somewhat contrasting fortunes, haven't they? But both of them now find themselves in qualifier two, which is a virtual semi-final. The Gujarat Titans, one team which looked very good right from the very beginning of the season, just like in their maiden season last year, and the Mumbai Indians on the other hand, who began the season with two consecutive losses, who were coming off a season where they finished last, ten out of ten teams, and uh, they really have a point to prove. And now they are just two wins away from winning potentially a record-extending sixth IPL title. So, which team will really have more of the momentum? Well, if you look at the two teams, Mumbai, of course, will be on a big, big high, right? Because not only have they made the final four cut, because at one time it looked like they might not make it, they made the final four cut. Then they beat uh, Lucknow, knocked them out of the competition by winning the eliminator, and now they face Gujarat in qualifier two and are just one win away from making yet another final of the IPL. On the other hand, of course, there's the Gujarat Titans who have been extremely consistent last season as well as this season. If you look at the league stage points, exactly the same. After the league stage, 20 points, uh, 10 wins out of the 14 matches that they played in 2022, as well as in 2023. But Mumbai, they finished last last season, so they have a point or two to prove because, after all, they are the most successful franchise in the history of the IPL. Now, as far as these two teams are concerned, for the head-to-head -head in the league stage this season, they played each other twice, and the head-to-head -head stands. Uh, cut right down the middle at 1-1. In the first game, GT won by 55 runs, and the second one, MI won that game by 27 runs. So, who would you say has more of the momentum going into qualifier two? Mumbai, of course, will be on a high. They managed to beat a team which finished higher than them on the points table, the Lucknow Super Giants, in the eliminator. GT, on the other hand, they lost to CSK in qualifier one, and a full season's hard work, dedication, and good results are now on the line in this one match for Hardik Pandya and company. Which team has the bigger match winners? You would ask. Well, if you look at the batters column, I think you would have to go with Mumbai Indians, just going by the sheer quality of hitters that that their arsenal boasts of. If you look at the top seven of the Mumbai Indians, all of them are big hitters, aren't they? There's Rohit Sharma, Ishan Kishan, Cameron Green, Surya Kumar Yadav, uh, Tilak Varma, uh, Tim David, Nehal Vadhera. They are all big hitters. And if you look at what's happened this season, Mumbai, the strategy that they have adopted, they have pretty much given their batters the carte blanche, a carte blanche to go out there and start hitting from the word go. They have the license to kill. Rohit Sharma himself is batting pretty much according to that same philosophy, and they all have, are big hitters in that top seven of the Mumbai batting lineup. Against the Lucknow Super Giants at the Chepok, which is a slow, slow uh, ground. Mumbai chose to bat after winning the toss, depending completely on their hitting abilities, and they managed to post a well above par total of 182. How can Gujarat Titans counter that? You would ask with their bowling, of course, which overall this season you have to say has been superior to that of Mumbai Indians, and I'm not including Akash Madhwal's uh, five for five, that incredible bowling spell uh, that he uh, showcased in the eliminator against Lucknow, but. Qualifier two and the final will both be played in Ahmedabad. They are not going to be played at the Chepok. They are going to be played on the faster tracks of Ahmedabad. So, what should Gujarat's strategy be to try and stop the Mumbai hitters? Well, first up, you cannot give any width to any of the Mumbai big hitters. Uh, they need to strike very early, as early as possible, via the likes of Shami and Nalkande if he plays again. Do not let Surya Kumar Yadav settle in. If you are a Gujarat Titans coach, that is one advice that they will be giving uh, every player and every bowler. Don't let Sky settle in because he is someone who really does not need the width to massacre a bowling attack, does he? 
now talking about nalkande the 24 year old uh, from vidhar uh, he really needs a reassuring arm around his shoulder after what happened uh, in qualifier 1 and i'm sure hardik has done that to him hardik being a captain who is always there to back his uh, players uh, you know all the way 100% he would have sat down with nalkande and i would have told him it's okay it doesn't matter you put in a good uh, effort even though the figure said 1 for 44 in 4 remember what happened he dismissed ruturaj gaikwad rather cheaply but it was off a no ball and ruturaj went on to score a half century if you look at what nalkande is capable of in the 2021 22 side mushtaq ali trophy semi finals against karnataka playing for vidhar he took four wickets of four consecutive deliveries in the final over of that semi final what do the other gt bowlers uh, need to do well rashid and noor ahmed they really need to tie up the mumbai indian batters as much as possible mohit sharma needs to be on the money especially with his slow variations now interestingly hardik used five bowlers in qualifier one he himself did not bowl i am not sure why he is not bowling but if he is fit to bowl hardik needs to bowl in this match he needs to share the new ball with shami perhaps or even if he doesn't do that he needs to come in as the first change pacer uh, he did not bowl in in qualifier one remember now as far as the ahmedabad conditions are concerned gujarat titans will of course know them very well this is after all their home ground they remember they began the season with a win against chennai super kings at this ground in that season opener however out of the six matches that they have played at home this season they have won three and lost three gt overall table toppers after the league stage 10 wins in 14 matches exactly the same as last season when they went on to win the title however last season they entered the final straight away by beating rajasthan in qualifier 1 this time they have to play qualifier 2 they also have solid batters like uh, ridiman saha and shubman gill of course who's in the form of his life up top they need people like hardik and david miller to fire and someone like atevatia to finish off things nicely if needed for mumbai watch out again i would say for akash madwal bowls the yorkers well hits the hard lengths he is a cricketer with an engineering degree and he could well engineer yet another collapse for the mumbai indians hardik of course in this match will be up against his old franchise so it will be really interesting to see what kinds of what kind of plans he comes up with for the mumbai indians batters especially the likes of rohit sharma ishan kishan and surya kumar yadav against uh, with whom he has played a lot of cricket uh, you know with the mumbai indians he's won multiple ipl titles as a mumbai indians player so it'll be very interesting to see the plans that he comes up with all in all you can expect a cracker of a contest gt versus mi no holds barred you know uh, everything to play for because the loser will go out and the winner will meet chennai in the final so overall you can expect fireworks